Hi all, my name is Mas Barnkopf from Kaiser Power Electronics. A friend of mine called me up and said he had these two control panels used for some kind of motor control. So I said, yeah, sure, I'll take them. So let's see what's inside. But we also have to remember, it is summer. We need to stay hydrated. So in order for that, today we're having a nice cold beer. So cheers. So it is a pretty standard metal enclosure. We have a filter at top, a fan at the bottom, a small window we can look through and I can see there's some kind of motor control unit in there. We have a main disconnecting switch up here that's unfortunately broken. Um, has uh, some cable feed throughs at the bottom, seems to be one power in, two motors out maybe and some control connection. So let's get this opened. And what a mess. Wow. That's horribly. What is this? Uh, okay, some kind of settings for this uh, inverter here, which uh, seems kind of special. Speed command of Vector Digital Universal AC Motor Controller. Just has three buttons step store, up and down. So, not much there. A what seems to be a control logic input. Actually, it says it's made in Denmark. Okay. Not that every day you see a uh, inverter motor drive that is not a Danfoss that is made in Denmark. But this whole wire mess down here, that's just... What is this? This is for house installation. This is not allowed. You need to use terminals on a DIN rail. This relay, that's usually not used in industrial applications. It's also for installation in yeah, house enclosures where you need to uphold your IP21X um, enclosure rating. Also feels like this is okay. That is, nope, that is stiff. Okay, so that's probably the supply. Okay, that's probably fine enough, but other than that, this is just... What is this? Yeah, okay, at least it's grounded, but it's grounded wrong. Cannot just ground from the cabinet up to the lid. You need to actually ground directly to the earth terminals. And up here we have the whole documentation for the panel. Have something here that says, uh, I think it's a frequency inverter, then you have motor safety relay and cable to I'm not quite sure what that says and up here it says top of top and bottom so it seems like we have some kind of um, feedback if it hits top or bottom we have some motor security and then yeah nobody knows what that is but uh, quite interesting about these uh, the speed commander here Let's say it says here three times 400 volt AC at 9.5 amps. So it could be interesting to actually power this up. So uh, let's get that out and do that. The braking resistor here just mounted in another earth screw up in the enclosure. That's not good. And it's just dangling here. Yeah. This is unacceptable cabinet design. Let's drink to that. So among all the nice parts I took out of this cabinet, and it was two identical cabinets, so I have the exact same set from the other case. Now the large braking resistor here, it is a 75 ohm plus minus 10% resistor rated for 450 watt. That's pretty nice. Uh, not quite a uh, good load resistor, except for 75 ohm loads, of course, but I primarily would use 50 ohms. Now, uh, two small signal relays, one large contactor, a, a thermostat, just a regular bi metal um, contact inside, a nice big three phase 16 amp filter, and then the drive itself. So let's try to turn that on. Okay, the fan starts, says off. It can show some kind of... Okay, here we can actually see some of the 
configurations. See maximum frequency, 70 Hz. Okay, now we're adjusting it. I do not want to do that. Step one. Minimum frequency, 1 Hz. Acceleration, deacceleration. So it actually has just all the settings sitting here. So you, it seems to be quite simple that you can on, only go through these 16, um, 16 different settings here. And that's it. Quite simple, nice drive. Perfect for any hobby project. No fancy bus connections or anything. All you need is just your regular inputs here and it's go time. I hope you enjoyed this little short control panel teardown video. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. If you really like that video and my other videos, please consider pressing the join button and supporting the channel. So until next time, see ya.